Alrighty, I'm here removing the valves out of my diesel Volkswagen cylinder head. I have it sitting on a sawhorse, glue clamp down to hold it firmly in place. Have this tools mounted here, which is used to compress the valve spring to remove the retainer and such. You can't use what you have over here, the conventional tool like you have used on so many because the valve sit down in it's not workable but what you do on removing these you want to first remove this cam follower which I've been just using this magnet grab a hold of it and let's see here trying to so you can see it there we go yeah and that slides right up out then after you get that out You're looking down here, there's the retainer and the valve spring. And over here, I've already taken most of them out. But yeah, there's one, there's the number four exhaust valve. There's the valve, the retainer, and all the pieces. But like I say, and to remove this, like I say, I showed you how I mounted this. Like I say, this is on a sawhorse two clamps like I say I have you can buy rent a lot of places but you need something like I say that will bolt to the head and then I take okay this metal dowel rod which I think is a half inch dowel rod you slide it in through this one end okay and then before you go the whole way out through we need the tool and that goes through the hole and this and up the other one and what you want to do like I say is take try to get the light here where you can see half inch ratchets and it goes right in this it's got a hole for it right in there And you just take and you push down, which like I said, I can't do it in tape, but you push down and you can remove that retainer, which like I said, I was showing you one over here, but it's just a little two piece, like I say, that sits down at the top of the valve stem. There's one of them, Let's see here, and they just sit in these grooves. But you had, like I said, they're real small. Careful not to lose them. All right, and that, like I say, we'll do some more taping on various things, but just sort of wanted to show a little bit on this. All right, earlier there I was showing you about compressing the spring, removing the retainer and such. After you get that and the springs and that out, the valve springs, you want to take, here's remains of one, pull these valve seals out to sit down over the stem like I say that should be changed with all this work I'm going to be putting new ones in and on removing those I took a pair of pliers and just reached down in here and sort of started working them back and forth and like I say pulled them up out and let's see and then you got the lower spring seats which just sit in there and they'll just pop out with the magnets and that's pretty much all there is to that but yeah just a little bit of like you say next step on this now and I did want to show you I've got all these valves in little separate glass jars I wondered why I saved them but it works out good I put purple power in each marked what cylinder they were and what if it was exhaust or the intake I was first just going to go put them in a ziploc bag but that wasn't going to get them cleaned anyhow the valves and then like I said, in the small stuff, there's my parts washer over there. I've done it a million times. You can put it in, but there's little pieces that are hard to find in it. So, yeah, should work out pretty good. Just an idea.